So I've been playing Forza Horizon 5. I got given a review code, so shout out to Xbox UK. I love Aww. you. I'm just gonna give you all a big kiss on the mouth. Yeah. And it's a little bit weird with this game, because I think this is probably the first racing game in a very long time that my expectations were pretty high for. Forza Horizon 4 was one of my favorite racing games of the last generation. So coming into 5, I was like, <sighs> Oh, I need it. Oh, give it to me. Fiending, like. Just give me some of that good Forza crack. Forza Horizon 5, for me, is, is the equivalent to finding kilos of crack buried in your back garden. That is what it is, equivalent to me. But anyway, enough of me rambling about crack. <laughs> Forza Horizon 5, in quick summary, is Forza Horizon 4, but better in pretty much every single way. Graphics, sound, map, and roads. That's, that's a big one. UGC, it sounds like, sounds like a Bitcoin. <laughs> but what it actually means is user generated content. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a rundown on what I thought was most impressive in my first 60 hours of gameplay. So first, I wanna talk about the map because the map for me is probably the star of the show. Oh my God, Mexico looks mental. Not only does it look aesthetically mental, but the roads themselves are just so varied. I'd go out on a limb and probably say, from what I've experienced so far, uh, this is probably the best map in a Forza Horizon game, period. There's elevation, the dirt road, and the asphalt have huge camber changes in the roads. Like, I haven't actually driven from one side of the map to another, just in like an A-class car or whatever, but I imagine that would take a while. It's so much more dense than previous games. No longer are we just driving around on flat, straight maps. I think that's always been Forza Horizon's problem. Like, it's been too flat, not enough like elevation changes. And for me, what makes driving in Forza really fun is the same thing that makes driving fun in real life. I enjoy driving on twisty, windy roads. I don't really like driving on straight, flat land. And that is reflected in, in Mexico. It's basically like if you gave a toddler a A4 sheet of piece of paper and told me, write a racetrack. Like loads of squiggly lines, like shit tons of squiggly lines. But with that also being said, like the highway system in this game is unreal. Actually, since I recorded the like in camera part of this video, I've actually found loads of airfields and shit in the game with drag strips. So if you do do a lot of drag racing in this game, you're also covered there. But on top of the actual like road, roads, like the, the switchbacks and stuff, there's an off-road racetrack, there's an actual like racetrack racetrack, like an asphalt racetrack, all types of stuff that I probably haven't even found yet in the game. One thing that I don't need to play anymore to realize is how good the graphics are. Oh, mate, it's like I'm looking into my screen and it's like a, a portal into like Mexico in real life. It just looks real. I believe they've worked on the lighting uh, system in the game and it's completely new for this game and you can really, really tell at nighttime, the sky and stars gleaming. But then actually one good test for a game is whether it looks good during the daytime and it doesn't matter what time of day it is in this game, Horizon never fails to look absolutely mental. Just look at some of these photos I took, like some of them literally look real, I couldn't believe it. There were some bad things I did notice while I was playing, for example, I think the progression um, for the normal races in the game was quite short. I pretty much did all of the main street races and asphalt races and dirt races and cross country races in the first weekend of me having the game. Um, I thought they were going to keep unlocking as we were going along. Like, I thought there was going to be, like, three stages of asphalt races or, like, three stages of, like, dirt races like there's been in previous games. But it didn't take that long for me to actually get through the main kind of thread of racing racing. Obviously, on top of that, there's stories and PR stunts, etc., etc. Uh, and I guess it's kind of circumvented with the UGC. But, yeah, no, I, I did kind of hope that there was going to be more races than what we actually got. Uh, but, obviously, with live service, hopefully, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. On the note of PR stunts, uh, I'm still a bit disappointed that they haven't taken advantage of that properly yet. Uh, like, the idea of doing class-based PR stunts is something which I've, I thought was like a no-brainer. Why wouldn't you do that? But it's still kind of like one size fits all. 
And as we all know, we're all different sizes. And then the stories mode, uh, they have kind of expanded on it in a little bit. Like you, you can like do multiple branches for some of the story modes and stuff. But I felt it's really clunky while I was playing it through. Uh, you can kind of miss checkpoints and cheat the game and miss jumps and stuff to kind of like get an extra push, which, I, which I'm fairly certain was not intended to be so. And then like you're given a car, which gradually gets upgraded over time for some of the story modes. Like uh, the one I'm thinking of more specifically is the Mexican wrestler one. Uh, this one, the Rey Mysterio Bruh. story mode. <laughs> but like, I just thought that was a really big missed opportunity. Why not give me a car or let me buy a car that I've got because you give me so many cars in this game that I don't know what to do with and let me upgrade it myself and then maybe have like a whole progression thread of like, okay, so you start in C-Class, then you've got to add the cams and you know, you got to do this and that. And you can even baby me through that. But I just thought it was weird. They gave me a Focus RS for that specific story. And then we're like, we're going to automatically upgrade it. Like, why not let me put a body kit on the car and let me do that? Because I thought this car looked shit. You've got a community of like a fantastic livery makers and stuff. And this is what you came up with. That was pretty poor. But in the grand scheme of things, these are like pretty small nitpicks. If you enjoyed Forza Horizon 4, you will definitely enjoy Forza Horizon 5. Although the normal races are short, I've got to say the amount of progression in this game Oh, it hurt my head. So I was just playing through the game normally and like in the first, I want to say four or five hours, the game just keeps giving you menus and like menus and menus and you just keep opening these menus. So you've got the accolades one, which is basically the progression from the Lego expansion, but on more crack, crack times two. And then you've got the car collection thread, which is quite similar to Motorsport 7 in some ways. It's crack times three. You get rewards for completing all of these challenges and there's honestly so much content in here for any hardcore Forza guy, like you could spend hours in this. I'm not gonna ruin it, but towards the end when you unlock the Hall of Fame, there's another menu which you unlock. Yeah, there's, de there's definitely more menus that you just keep unlocking and there's like tons of challenges to do in this game. Uh, but those are just were some of the ones that stuck to me, you know, just off the top of my head. That's always been Forza's problem for me. Um, is the fact that once you finish all the races, there's nothing to do. But with the amount of content that is in these progression threads, you could literally be here for hours and hours and hours on top of like the 500 plus cars. It's just like you could be here for days and days and days. I haven't even talked about the wheel support. Yeah, fucking hell. So I played on a controller and on a wheel with multiple different assists and stuff. I actually found on a controller and on a wheel, I preferred to play with simulation handling for the first time ever in a Forza game. Like I never do that in a Forza game. But yeah, on a wheel, it's like not quite as good as a say Assetto Corsa, but it's a million times better than Horizon 4. There is definitely a lack of like actual force feedback from the like road, but there's just about enough to, so you can tell what you're doing. Kind of like my like Bruh. my Renault Clio. It's the exact same thing. <laughs> and as you can see from some of this footage here, like, you know, you could probably move, like you can whip it round and, you know, I have to really feed the wheel through my hands like you would in a real car. Uh, and yeah, it's much, much easier to, to, to play than Forza Horizon 4. Uh, if you have any experience with cars in real life or even, you know, with a set of course or another Sims, you're going to get on with Forza Horizon 5 just fine on a wheel. And yeah, the game is only going to get better from here. Uh, I haven't even talked about so many things like the sounds which are just, I'm going to let, let this play here so you can just hear like some different engines and just hear what they sound like. Variety, like, I think that's probably the best word to explain this game. There's just so much variety, whether it's the cars, the map, how you want to play the game. I feel like uh, in, with a lot of games, they say, oh, you can play how you want. Like, the crew too said that. That was bollocks. In Forza Horizon, you can actually play how you want and you're not hindered for it. For me, I started off the game in like a C-Class car and gradually built myself up to S2 as I was progressing. And like, you can do that if you want to do that. But then if you just want to go hop straight into your fastest cars at the start of the game, you can do that as well. I think this is probably one of the first games I've ever played where you can actually play how you want to play and you're not hindered for it. You can literally, if you only want to do 
road racing, you don't even want to touch the cross country stuff. You don't have to. But honestly, it's all so much fun. I, I, I don't see why you wouldn't. Yeah, there's so much stuff I, have, I haven't touched on here. Like the create modes, the multiplayer, I'm still yet to try it. Seasons, I'm still yet to try out seasons and battle royale because obviously anyone who's been on early access has only been able to experience summer. So there's still a lot to this game that I'm still learning and finding out about. These are just my first impressions. So yeah, if you have anything you want to see from this game, let me know. Like I'm going to be playing the motherfucking shit out of this game. Anyway, stay safe and peace.